What's up everyone and welcome back to the Blue Jays franchise in MLB The Show 16 and here we are we're going to do a little pre-playoff wrap up. I meant to have this out this entire like playoffs out way earlier but I have just been pounded with schoolwork lately and you guys have seen it in the uploads they've been a little more sporadic and I tried to do like every other day but I got really busy a couple days and I wasn't able to do that. So uh, we're heading into our season three playoffs right here. I was I wanted the like playoff rounds to coincide with each other, but I just didn't. I have like four series going on, and I was trying to like balance some other stuff. Well, I have three series going on, and I was doing NCAA stuff. But um, yeah, uh, so let's get into it. The Blue Jays won their division. This is the third year in a row that we've won the division. Um, as you can hear, my phone go off right there. I'm gonna turn the ringer off. And uh, yeah, we went. 96 and 66 slow start to the season but we made a few really big moves at the trade deadline that really catapulted us into contender status i feel i don't know if we were really a world series team i mean we made it to the alcs last year with pretty much the same roster uh, and i think we actually had a couple of better players but at the same time it was still not looking super great at the trade deadline we were like over 500 a little bit but definitely could have been a better standing at that point in the season so we're gonna go over a few things I'm not gonna try and make this video too long there's not much to recap so um, I know in front of you on your screen right now you didn't see the standings. you saw those at the beginning of the video but I wanted to uh, to kind of cut time so uh, while you guys are looking at our season stats that I don't have to speed it up because that makes the render take twice as long so you see those on your screen for the last about a minute or so up to this point really after our trade deadline moves there wasn't a whole lot of a uh, whole lot of bad spots on our team we had a couple injuries down the stretch young Gervis Solarte missed a little bit of time in September and a couple of other guys got nicked up during the year and uh, we kind of had to force some backups into some starting roles pitching was really good this year I feel that we had four very good starters by the numbers and Brandon Finnegan was actually pretty good too he had a lot of strikeouts um, and he was he only started for us for about half the year though so uh, definitely an all-around solid year from this team I feel it was definitely the best year out of Marcus Stroman that we've had too so that's something to watch for going forward because Sonny Gray is under contract for quite a while but Marcus Stroman will be heading into the last year of his deal next year Kenley Jansen was our best uh, reliever this year even though he had a high ERA only a 1.08 whip and uh, he's been mildly disappointing in the first couple years compared to what I expected I wanted to be a really like a shutdown guy but he's been really good still I have no complaints about him so far um, and he's definitely going to be another option if Roberto Ozuna has another kind of average year as you can see his numbers weren't super special this year he had a first like good couple seasons in this franchise but this year he had like a 1.33 whip and didn't do the hottest so anyway let's move on from uh, all this stuff that we have up on the screen right now with the stats and move into something else and that is awards we didn't really have anything super special uh, we had a couple silver sluggers though Jose Bautista being one of them the silver slugger at DH ruining Nelson Cruz's I believe what would it be two or three years running title I don't remember who won the silver slugger at DH in 2015 but Jose Bautista won it in 2018 and that's all that really matters right here we also had another silver slugger and that was catcher Devin Mesoraco who had a pretty good year he had like a 340 OBP and uh, his OPS was over 800 which for catching is like a breath of fresh air since we had Russell Martin those first couple years and uh, breath of fresh air for the AL too having the best catcher the last two years Deanna Navarro and Giovanni Soto had been the silver sluggers at that position as well so it's nice to see a new probably better honestly than both of those guys winner in that conversation as well. I don't have the league leaders or anything like I usually would in most recap videos because I actually didn't remember to capture them and I, uh, I wanted to get this video out quick so I'm not going to go back and do it anyway. But here's a look at the playoff tree. I already simmed the wild card game so you can get a look at the DS previews for each or LDS previews for each thing. And uh, this would have been great if we if I had gotten around to playing this much earlier. We are going to be taking on Texas in the first round, Seattle and Cleveland. So four out of the or three out of the four teams in the AL are the same as real life this year. And that's also the case in the National League where Chicago is taking on San Francisco, a matchup that also happened this year in real life. And New York, the Mets are going to be taking on the Dodgers. So what six out of the eight. LDS teams in 2018 are the same as in this franchise are the same as real life 2016 so that is very ironic and uh, it actually kind of turned out like the first year um, 
of this franchise for those of you that don't know the lcs's in the first year of this franchise are the same as they were in real life dodgers cubs in the nl and in the american league it was indians blue jays but the opposite winners of the real life lcs has made the world series in year one so it was very fun up to that point it was kind of the matchup i was rooting for honestly i wanted it to be just like this franchise but uh definitely didn't work out that way unfortunately it would have been really cool if it was but anyway we're gonna move on and uh, we'll take a look really quick at the texas rangers because there's actually something interesting that happened in their division this year Last year, the Blue Jays were no match for the Houston Astros as they beat the Blue Jays in five games to head to the playoffs. This year, however, that can't be the case as the Astros missed the playoffs by two games as the Seattle Mariners made a wildcard game as only an 83-win team and the Rangers won their division at 90 wins. So we definitely have the advantage in that department. We had won six more games. However, Texas is the number four overall team in the game and I think we're like number two or number one maybe so it's definitely going to be a very interesting matchup and i hope that it will go more than just three games not like most of our playoff series i think what was it the first year we didn't lose a playoff game at all and then last year both of our series went five games at least actually both of them did go five five games the division series went five against the yankees because they uh they were down two nothing and then won two in a row and then we lost in five to Houston, but they didn't make the playoffs this year. And that was probably the biggest threat I thought to us because they made the World Series last year. I don't believe they won. I believe the Cubs won, but they did go to the World Series at least. And uh, they were probably my biggest fear out of at least American League teams. But I like the matchups in this year's. I think I'm very confident in our ability to beat the Texas Rangers. And uh, we already beat the Indians in the first year, so that's uh not something that i'm very concerned about either but anyway that's gonna do it for me thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed i'm gonna try to get an episode of this out next week at some point because i do want to finish this season at least and then probably gonna slow down the mlb uploads just because i want to do more madden and uh, nba is kind of the priority right now so and i want to get some ncaa football in there at some point too because i haven't done a video for that in a little bit but Anyway, that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more Blue Jays franchise in MLB The Show 16.